Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Friday Quickie Techniques and Tips. I'm Dina Rico with the Creativity Cave and I'm thrilled to be sharing some great projects with you today. These are such pretty cards and I had such a good time making them. Oh my gosh. I love when it's fun to stamp and when the cards and projects I come up with are really fun and exciting. It just gets me giddy and I just am so excited to share this with you. So this is uh, nothing more than cards using stencil. Pencils, but I might be using them in a way you might not have thought of. So that's what makes it kind of a cool technique. So first of all, I love stencils, but I don't use them enough, but they're really great and really versatile. We have several different stencils. Here's one. This is, uh, here, I'll move these so you can see it better. This is the polka dot. It comes with also a striped one, which is this right here. And excuse the tape. Um, then we also have a smaller pack of four that come with, like, you can see these are much smaller polka dots. I used these, this one to make this card right here. You are the best. And then um, there's several other designs in there as well. And then back with, remember we had this polka dot? This one comes with a striped one. And that is how I got these stripes. They are actually heat embossed because I used the stencil with Versamark and then I could emboss them after that. So that was pretty cool. Um, you can do all kinds of things with stencils. So let me show you some of my uh, testing pieces. This is using one of our other stencils that has stars. Uh, there's a two pack that one that has stars and one that has hearts and let me show you because it's kind of versatile um, you can see they start out with just a few at the top and then they get to be a whole bunch at the bottom and so depending on how you place your card where you place it you can have more or less which is really kind of nice um, I found out when I was working with these stencils that there's different ways you can use them. So for instance, the polka dot one, I used some watercolor paper and my aqua painter and got this really cool effect. But using that same stencil, I sponged the same ink onto the same color paper and got this effect. And then I even took my pen, my Project Life journaling pen and drew some uh, circles around some of these because I used the stencil, you know, as a stencil. So I used the pen to stencil with it so that was kind of neat um, another one of these stencils uh, I tried actually the first one I tried on some of our typeset DSP which I thought was really cool just green lines on the DSP so this one will be fun to play with and then this is our some of our celebration I think it's called flowering fields paper and there's just one with dark circles so I just sponge some different colors on there I also <clears throat> have a couple that didn't work out so hot <laughs> this is I was trying to use a brayer and so you can see where these darker areas is where the brayering went, but I wasn't getting full coverage and I wasn't very happy with it. So then I, I think I spritzed it and then I wiped it <laughs> with a cloth. And actually this is what happened. It looked a little better, but I'm still not super thrilled with this. So whatever. Um, but they're really fun to play with. Now, one thing that's kind of cool is you can also make your own stencils. And I have actually talked about that before. I've done it in a Friday quickie from months and months ago. But one of the stencils I made was this one right here. This is, um, I want to say it's called the Starburst. I can't think of the name. And of course, I don't see my catalog with me because nothing's ever where, oh, here it is. I was going to say nothing is ever where you need it to be when you need it, right? That's just kind of Murphy's Law. But this, um, so this is the Starburst Thinlet. And then I cut it with... Uh, window sheet. Now it took a couple of passes that I did actually have to cut out a couple of the pieces, but it did come out and you can see I have tape on here to hold it down for when I used it. And this is uh, the card I came up with using that stencil, but I thought that was pretty cool. This is also watercolor on watercolor paper. So I liked how that came out and I just love the sunshine look. This, I just got this, so I'm really anxious to play with it. Um, another thing is I did was I have a stencil from a long time ago and I'm actually going to show you how I used this stencil 
it is well actually let me tell you one more thing so this is the stripe stencil and I mentioned I used Versamark on here and then I heat embossed it and that was great I used a sponge dauber to apply the Versamark but the problem was that it sort of shredded my sponge dauber here it is uh, you can see it the the edges of the stencil really kind of cut it up and I don't know if that's because the Versamark ink was in there and that caused it to kind of degrade a little bit that could be the case but nonetheless I would maybe try one of the these kind of sponges um, if you were going to try it at home and one more thing with that this is another card I made with the same stencil I just did it at an angle and this is um, my watercolor paper and a uh, Versamarker or not Versamarker um aqua painter that's the word okay so now let me show you how this little beauty was made because this is kind of like this makes me so happy <laughs> love it all right so I have this board thing this is um this is actually my daughter uses this for drawing it's like a clipboard and everything but I'm using it because it's a nice hard surface that I can tape things to you can see I'm actually using washi tape this is an old thing of washi tape that I have this is a piece of watercolor paper and I cut it a little bigger than I would want it to be so I can trim it down which is perfect and then this is the stencil I'm using this is actually from last year's occasions catalog I'll show you where it is but then we also have a framelit for it so you can make your own stencil but it came in this kit right here hooray it's your day they made really cute birthday cards and and then it came with like a little spritzer so you could spritz and by the way you can spritz on any of these projects but what I have found is I don't like the control because there isn't enough control using a spritzer so I kind of like to color with spongers sponges and um, my aqua painters so now what I am doing is laying the stencil right on top of my watercolor paper and I have um, some tape that I'm just going to hold this stencil in place partly so it doesn't move and partly so it's down there good so that when I start using water the water doesn't completely seep through the stencil you know getting underneath it's going to a little bit and that's just kind of part of the process and I kind of like the look that it's not perfect but um, this will just help make everything stay in place easier for you. Okay, so I have that all taped down. Then what I'm going to do is get my ink pads and my aqua painter. Okay, so what you want to do is have your aqua painter. You want it wet, but not like really wet, kind of casually wet, medium wet, you know. So I sort of went... Uh, and put some color or some water down that just helps things blend a little bit and I can see it's pretty darn wet right now I don't like how wet it is so I'm going to daub a little bit of this off with my um this is just actually this is a old cloth diaper from burp rag days of my children's youth <laughs> and I'm just going over this and I'll pick up the next color bring it in and keep going and you can see the colors will kind of mix together and form sort of an, another color, which is really cool. And you can lighten them with more water or you can brighten them with more ink. So like, I think I want to add a little bit there. That looks pretty. And then get my yellow really going and just keep going. Um, as you go, you will... Again, try and keep that water under control so it doesn't get too wet um, so that it doesn't seep under the stencil so you still get that pretty design. And uh, I will keep going and then I will show you the end. Okay, so you can see I'm just about done here. And I'm going to finish up adding my last color. And for some reason, the, last, the first color and the last color always seem to be the darkest colors. I don't know why that is. But uh, when I do this, I just try and blend the colors that are next to each other a little bit in between so that they kind of look nice and there we go okay so now what I will do with this is just let it sit and dry I can take off the stencil right away or just let it sit it doesn't really matter I think though if you take the stencil off first you will be able to blot up any excess 
uh, water that's on there and that's kind of a nice thing to be able to do so let me peel this off quick so you can see that this is kind of like um, do you remember when you were a kid and you glued your finger or your hand and then you peeled the glue off yeah that's right I did it okay so I really got some water pooling so I'm just gonna take my diaper here <laughs> And I will blot that up and then it really makes it look nice. Now it does kind of, uh, what's the word, spread the color out. You lose a little bit of the definition of your stencil. But I think that's kind of fun, part of the fun. But I really like the look. Now I will let this dry until it is dry, 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 dry. And then I will use my embossing buddy over the top so that I can get a nice crisp image because on my card sample, which I'll bring back. I heat embossed this with black. You can see it's kind of shiny. Uh, I also trimmed the edges off because you can see there's going to be some raw edges from where the tape was and then mounted it onto some black cardstock and then onto my card. So anyway, I think this is really great. Now, if you were watching this going, oh my gosh, what colors were you using? Don't worry. All of the information from all the projects are going to be on my blog, thecreativitycave.com, and the link is in the description of this video. So you can check that out and see all the different supplies that I used. Now, if you're sitting there looking at this going, I got to get me some stencils, I hear you. Please uh, do me a favor and shop through my online store. It really helps me out when you shop through me because that's how I earn money making all these amazing videos. And I really would love your support. Now, just so you know that just shopping with me, that's not all you get. The Creativity Cave has a wonderful VIP rewards program, and I would love to welcome you to that. In fact, on our uh, Creativity Cave VIP Facebook page, I'm going to show you how I finished this card up with the embossing buddy because that was one of the VIPs requests they wanted to know how to do that and I actually have a thing where you can ask for techniques and stuff that I'll show you so there'll be another video there anyway I hope you loved watching this and I hope you love this technique and we're gonna get out and try it um, please share this technique too on your favorite social media platform and help me get the word out I'd so appreciate it Thank you so much, you guys. I'm so excited that I can share my love of stamping with you. Have an awesome weekend. Bye.